Okay, so it's the 28th of me. And this, this is how you package your vinyl record in a nice, proper, thick box, but also has, you know, some give and leeway in case it is. Just make something in my throat there. Give us a bit of leeway. Oh. I just knocked something off. I just knocked the remote off. That was clever. So this box is another box and interesting that it isn't sealed. Although it does say on the front, this record has been manufactured without shrink wrap. So yeah. But I will I will keep this bit uh on there, but it does actually say this has been manufactured without shrink wrap. But uh, thankfully it is in good nick. So yeah, this is Doctor Who Series 1 and 2 soundtrack on vinyl. This is a, this is the new pressing of it, however, which is orange vinyl. And uh, thankfully they didn't change the logo. Oh, thank God for small mercies. Let's have a look at inside. But uh, yeah, this is a very limited pressing of it though, uh, which... I think has officially sold out, although there are still a few places that still are selling it and I noticed um, quite a few are popping up on eBay. Oh, paper sleeve, that's a bit cheap. I do, I do like that that they've done there. That's quite nice. You can see that on the other side. Anyway, without further ado... Okay, so here it is. Again, it's a darker orange. Um, and that, it looks darker on camera than it does actually in real life. If I grab my phone and turn its light on. There is the torch. There we go. You can see, you know, it isn't really translucent, this one. It is very, very slightly translucent. But the base slightly, but really isn't this. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. So yeah, this uh, got a re-release just kind of uh, out of the blue. Out of the blue. Now, the website I had only had 150 of them. I don't know if that is what it is actually limited to. Are these actually, are these numbered or not? I can't remember. have a look no but this is a silver screens uh, record release not a demon records release which is what most of the BBC releases are oh that, that's uh, not great that really that's yeah I'm glad there isn't anything on this sleeve otherwise that would be really I might get in touch with that because that is damage to that. At least hopefully I don't think the record is uh, damaged thankfully. But it does feel like I noticed with, with a lot of new records that are released now is that they seem to be uh, rushing the pressings a lot more. They do seem to be rushing them a lot more which means a lot more of them are having a lot of uh, defects to them so yeah, because obviously there's shortages in that and shortages and everything, but uh, yeah, um, pretty ha happy with this. And um, there are a few places that do have it. I think Amazon has it at a reasonable price, like it, I think it was £37 Amazon had it for, which selling on Amazon was selling it for, us, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, but. Still there, there we go. But uh, yeah, if if yours does, oh oh, I just know, I just noticed the bottom picture. <laughs> it's me, the bottom picture. <laughs> that is literally the picture I use. Oh, 
But uh, yeah, interesting that they've done it without shrink wrap. Maybe because it's an online ex exclusive, it's not going into any shops. But uh, yeah, that that's also damaged from that other corner. God, it just feels like they're kind of hoying these around and just trying to see, you know, what fits. But uh, yeah, that I don't think I'll be able to get that back on. Actually, I don't think I can get it back on. Or can I? No, I think that's, that's just going to rip if I try and put it back on. Oh well. But uh, yeah, there we go, people. There we go. Yay.